Hey everybody, so I had a pretty good mail week here. I got seven TTMs, uh, one private signing, one purchase, and one consignment. And I got a little bit of everything here. We got baseball, got hockey, and celebrity. And uh, one person did write us a letter back too. So I got uh, some good stuff to go over here. So we'll get right into it. First one, we'll start off with the Hall of Famer. It's a 2 of 2 in 28 days. This person does charge $10 per. We got Martin Brodeur. Got him on his 1990 score rookie card in the 99 Stadium Club. Unfortunately, it did uh, get smudged. See a little thumbprint there. And then the rest of the ink got on the back of this card, unfortunately. So, pretty bummed about that, but uh, it's still, it still doesn't turn out too bad. Maybe get it redone again in the future. We'll see. All right, next is a one of one in 13 days. Oh, I'm sure we all know this person. We got Tommy Chong signed uh, this custom I made. Of course, I used the 1973 Tops football design here, and then uh, just threw the this picture on the back of it. But, uh, I think he's got a private signing coming up, and uh, Cheech is going to be signing too. I don't think Cheech signs through the mail. But uh, maybe get in on that. I'm not sure. All right, next is a one of one in 219 days. We got uh, Baltimore Orioles Hall of Fame catcher Chris Hoyles for the set. Signed the 97 score. Uh, this came back from Michigan, so uh, possibly he moved. I'm not sure. Uh, of course, the card gets a little dark on the sides. You can see it a little better in person. All right, next is a one of one in nine days. Very fast turnaround. We've got Joe Rickey, former alternate captain for the Washington Capitals here on the 99 Stadium Club. It says signature is just a J-R. All right, next is a four of four in 48 days. From uh, one of the guys the Mariners picked up in the Randy Johnson trade, we got John Halama on the 20, 2002. Yeah, 2002 Upper Deck 40 Man. It's a neat set. The 2001 Tops. The 2000 Bowman. And the 2002 Tops. Uh, he threw a perfect game in the minor leagues, too. Uh, after being up in the big leagues for a couple of years, he got sent back down. And while he was down, he threw a, a perfect game, which uh, I was a perfect game or a no-hitter. But either way, it was uh, a big deal because I don't remember what league that the Mariners AAA team was on, but it's a very hitter-friendly league. So that... Uh, Really magnified his performance there. All right, next is a two of one in 24 days. Uh, this person never made it to the big leagues, unfortunately, but uh, he did have some pedigree. But I got Tony Phillips on the 91 tops traded, was drafted by the Mariners. I see him with uh, Team USA here, back into the bullpen guy. So he signed this card that I sent to him, and uh, he sent me the, this uh, minor league card, and uh, he wrote me a letter too, and in the letter he said that uh, he included this card because it was from his best season in the minors. So that was really neat, and uh, as you see here, he wrote me a big long message back. I'll let you pause the video if you want to read the whole thing but it's a really nice letter yeah uh, he really liked the letter that i sent to him which this is just on the back of my letter here but very cool uh, i mentioned 
mentioned my letter about uh, Ron Valone, Roger Salkeld, and um, Matt Wagner getting to play with them. And uh, I've, I've kind of noticed that a lot of guys like that. If you mention some of their minor league teammates, that uh, they like they like talking about that. So that's pretty cool. All right, one more TTM. This is a cool one. Uh, it's a, another hockey. It's a two of two in 29 days. Uh, got Bill Ranford on these rookie card here, the 87 Tops and the 99 Stadium Club. Um, Bill Ranford uh, I think spent a lot of his career as a backup goalie, but uh, his one distinction is he is the only goalie to ever win the MVP in the Stanley Cup. And I don't remember what year he did that in. But that's quite the honor. I I didn't even know that uh, he, only one goalie has ever won that in the Stanley Cup. That's uh, surprising to me. Very surprising. So uh, that was really cool. I saw he works for, I don't remember, he works for the Kings or something now. Uh, don't quote me on the team. But he works for a team now in the front office. And that's where I sent these. So. Uh, if you want to send to him, you suppose you can just look that up and figure that out. But uh, real happy to get those. All right, now I I got one purchase here. Uh, I think I picked this up for three dollars delivered. I got uh, Dustin Ackley here on the 2012 Tops Heritage, and uh, I got one consignment here. Another hockey consignment. I got a couple uh, Tyson Yost on the OPG Retro cards, which I really like these subsets. Uh, I think he plays for the Hurricanes now. And I have one private signing, and this one's cool. Um, he didn't have very many Mariners cards, so I got them all wiped out at once. We got Solomon Torres on the 95 Mariners Pacific. On the Incas uh, 97, 96, 97 Collector's Choice Pacific, or Pacific Collection, excuse me. I have the 1997 Upper Deck Pepsi Stadium giveaways here. It's the same design as the 96 tops, but it's blue instead of gold. And then I got the 96 score right here. And I think Solomon Torres, his uh, big, uh, what he's known for is, I think uh, he started a big brawl throw he threw at somebody, um, if I'm remembering correctly. I mean, that's what I remember him most for was uh, he was involved in a brawl in some way or another. Number one prospect for the Giants at one point, didn't know that. I don't think he had much of a career after the Mariners, though. That is it, everybody. That is my week. Uh, pretty happy with the haul this week. Hopefully things uh, keep on rolling in. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next week.